What's up guys, before the story starts, I just want to say there probably won't be another video for the next week, but um, I thought this was a pretty good story that you guys can enjoy, so uh, see for yourself. Alright, to start the story off, um, I'm playing decent or whatever, you know, the game just started, and uh, I just blocked the shit out of this one kid, like just completely blocked the shit out of him, he's going up for a shot, you know, no, just don't do that shit, right? And he looks like this, right? This is going to be one of our characters in the story. He then calls me a faggot because I just blocked him. You know, I don't know what that's about. And I told him to calm down, right? It's just a wrecked basketball game. Like, chill, bro. Then I steal the ball from this girl, right? And he's like, dude, it's just a wreck league. And I didn't say anything because, you know, you know, this kid's one of those kids, right? I thought, like, I'm not just going to let her have a free shot. I'm trying to win the game, so are you, buddy, like, but at least I'm not calling people faggots, you know, in a recreational basketball league. Next, this kid shows up, and he's about gay high, kind of looked like Thomas the Train. You could tell he's one of those kids that thought very highly of himself. He comes on the court, and the game is still very close. You know, that kid that looked like a car is not yelling, screaming, and shouting at these refs, who, my I add, are volunteers. These kids are, like, now getting really fucking annoying, and my whole team is starting to understand, like, these, these kids are just, you know, these kids are fucking complete douchebags, right? And, um, basically, uh, the girl on their team gets injured by one of their teammates, and just no one cares. No one gives a shit, and I'm, I'm just over here like, what the fuck? Are you guys serious right now, you know? You're just all about that dub, you know, all about winning the game. They keep yelling at these refs, and the refs are doing nothing, starting to be biased as fuck on these calls. I'm getting punched and shoved and fucking everything in under the sun, right? I'm just getting fucking destroyed by these kids physically. You know, no calls, no calls by the refs. But when I, you know, come up and like lightly caress one of their players, fucking that's an immediate foul. I then went up and let the ball like roll off my hand after it went through the net. And I literally got a flagrant for, like, slamming the ball, even though I just lightly let it roll off my hand, right? And, okay, now, now I'm getting kind of mad. These 14-year-old white kids are now controlling middle-aged black men. Like, this is getting a little ridiculous. Like, it's some pretty unfair uh, calls all around, but... We got up, right? We got up to go to the free throw line, right? And Thomas the Fuckboy says... Is your tampon stinging? Uh, and I'm just like, dude, grow up, bro. It's just not even funny, too, but... And, you know, then this motherfucker says, Our team is way more grown up than uh, yours, and we're way better. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, like, if that isn't some kindergartner shit, then I don't know what is. You know, Thomas the Train then rears back and slaps the shit out of my boy Brandon's arm, you know, and freaks out, like, he's like, what the fuck, when he gets a foul, you know, as usual, these kids are always freaking out when they get fouls, even though they deserve them, and I'm like, dude, you literally just slapped him, you idiot, and he says, I'll slap you, and pulls out his fucking mediocre biceps, and says, look at these, we go down the court, and Mr. Racecar is all like, yeah, dude, does your tampon hurt, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, dude, uh, really funny, dying from laughter over here, and the game, you know, winds down. I fell out of the game, and Thomas is all like, He's out of here. Get him out. Wow, dude, he's out of this game. And I'm like, I say again, dude, just like, grow up, bro. Be mature about this, please. And there's literally 0.05 seconds left, and we're down by three points. We're going to lose. And it's just like, I, I'm pretty mad at this point. And my boy Fisher shoots a half-court shot. Bounces around the rim a couple times and misses and we're all like, oh, then we shake their hands. They say nothing, of course. And then he turns around, walks up to me, points at the scoreboard. I look him dead in the eye and say, good game, man. And this motherfucker has the coldest look in his face. Like he's just been punched in the gut and I'm just laughing. My team went like back to the uh, back room 
and uh you know did the whole end of the year ceremony which is you know really wholesome to be honest and our team's moms like were ranting like a lot about you know how these kids were entitled literally literally our coach who's like the nicest guy ever just called literally called them douchebags which was you know heavily agreed upon you know our whole team was just flaming the shit out of them and i guess the moral of the story is hey kid your cock wasn't really that great to begin with peace peace guys hey yo we're gonna be looking at some more sexy clown stuff sexy clown stuff